What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Kayla back on Vibe. Okay. Mm -hmm. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to re how I revert my hair from protective styles to my natural curly hair to make sure like my curls are still there I still get the moisture make sure my hair is healthy again you know I hope you guys enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and comment down what protective styles you like to get I personally like to get box braids I only got them one time but I plan on getting them more two braids and those are pretty much the only styles I get like braids and yeah I really don't get protective styles that often, but I'm planning to get more so my hair can grow, even though it's growing already, but still, let's get into it. So this is the protective style I got. I just have two braids and they're pretty done for because I just had it in for a week, but I wasn't really wrapping my hair, so I really didn't care low key. But um, I tried using the scissors and the scissors just wasn't working. Baby girl, you were too thick. So now I just had to, um, you know, do it myself. My nails actually played a big part in taking these braids out because it was much more easier. I usually use a rat tail comb, but I couldn't find that. So basically I'm just gonna take out both of the braids. So this is how my hair looks once um, the braids are out. To me, it looks pretty cute and I would actually wear this just like that, but you know, we're not gonna do that in this video. But hair was kind of dry and this is all the buildup from the edge control. You can barely see it, but like, you get the point. So now I'm going to spray my hair with water on both sides just to make it a little damp before I put product in it. The hair mask I'm going to use today is the Deep Treatment Mask by Shea Moisture. It's kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it. Um, if you have dry hair, this one will work really good for you. It helps restore your hair if you have dry, damaged hair, and yeah. So I just use this like sometimes on wash days when I just feel like I need a good treatment. I have a couple of treatment masks that I like to use, so Shea Moisture isn't the only one that I use. I use a couple that are much more cheaper. But I'm basically going to run my hands through and put the product in. Now I'm going to put on a shower cap. I think I got this from the 99 cent store to be honest and I've just been using it ever since. But yeah, I'm going to keep this on for about 30 minutes. The longer you put it on, the better it works. These are the items that I use in the shower, Pantene, and this is the thing. I don't know what it's called, but I use it to massage my scalp, you know, get all that build up and stuff. And then once I'm out the shower, I use this shower towel, shower towel, what the heck, hair towel, you know, for less frizz. And I usually do it like that or I'll put it on my head. And let it dry but these are my curls once I got out the shower and now I'm gonna use watermelon squeeze by tropical bliss and tea tree oil and a comb cuz I end up like switching and just using my fingers because this comb was not doing it like look at my face So what I'm doing is basically sectioning my hair so I could put the oil in my scalp and then like running my fingers through it to make sure it gets in my scalp, obviously. This tea tree oil helps with dry um, scalp and stuff. I really don't got that, but you know, you gotta keep the moisture in so my hair can grow. And now I'm just massaging my scalp once I put the oil in. Um, honestly, Massaging your scalp actually helps with hair growth. So if you're trying to 
grow your hair faster and stuff like that you should massage your scalp consistently and you know now it's time to put the hair growth oil in um, I'm mostly putting more of this in than the tea tree oil just because I want my hair to grow I also use hair and skin nail vitamins to help my hair grow too which also helps with thickening my hair because my hair is really thin and yeah so those two products help the tropical bliss you can find on instagram not in stores sorry so yeah So this is my hair with just the oil in. Sometimes I do put a leave-in conditioner. Um, but that's about it on a wash day. Because throughout the rest of the week, I'm just adding curling creams and all this other products. So I don't want to keep on adding so much hair products to my hair. But yeah, as you can tell, I see kind of a difference in my hair growing. But this is a pillow that I got. I forgot where I got it from but it was like a company sponsoring me but this pillow works really good and you know less frizz it's just supposed to be good for your hair so yeah so this is my hair a few hours later and as you can tell it's pretty much dry but the back of my hair like the back curls are so defined i really recommend the brush that little brush that you use in the shower and the pantene it's really easy to comb out my hair but this is a finished product you know it didn't really do much but yeah so if you guys enjoy make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and don't forget to turn your bell notification on to be a part of the vk gang because if you're not the gang you is lame period down the road to 30k baby comment down below what your favorite protective style is and maybe i might get it next all right because I'm in, I'm in need for a protective style again. The routine was pretty short. It's just because I don't do, I don't like to put too much product in my hair and stuff like that. And when I do have a lot of product in my hair, I'm so quick to take out any type of style. That hairstyle, I did have like kind of a lot of hair product. It had like edge control and stuff like that. So I was quick to take it out. See you in my next video. Bye.